time I hear this music, the mood in the room changes. One fourth of the culmination. ago, Gorey decided the culmination needed recruits, needed reinforcements. As a result, he sent the, uh, the street preacher, so to speak, the guy that spreads the doctrine, the dogma, the, uh, uh, the, the mission statement of the culmination, Remy LeVay, on a hunt. Remy found Sean Phoenix, and Sean Phoenix has been torn between a spot in the culmination and his existing tag team with his partner that's about to come to the curtain, Sean Phoenix, banned from the building tonight so there's no distractions because these two men are fighting over their friend. So it's Remy LeVay and Alex Jordan one-on-one -on -one in this matchup as Alex Jordan is very, very determined because he thought that he would solve this issue with he and Remy LeVay. He thought that he would solve the true allegiance of Sean Phoenix by making Phoenix the referee a month ago. We were left with more questions than answers and a rift apparently seeming to continuously grow between Jordan and Phoenix, friends and tag team partners that I'm not sure are even on speaking terms. And it's Remy LeVay who's been the puppet master pull on the string. Well, and Alex here looking to uh, solve whatever the problems are with fists, or in this case, whoa. Through fist or through flight. And Jordan now. Oh. Hurricane Rana sent Remy into the guardrail. I think Alex got hurt on the way down as well. Alex has a devil may care style. We've seen him risk his health to inflict damage on an opponent more than once in the past. And there's personal animosity here. Jordan and Phoenix have been inseparable for months. They've been like brothers. But all of a sudden with Remy LeVay, that's not the case anymore. Ooh. Jay Worth, I think you can agree with me that any relationship, whether it's business, personal, marriage, whatever, the most important thing is trust. And Jordan and Phoenix don't have that trust with one another now. And there's one man to blame for that, Remy LeVay. How do you, you don't know that the space exists until something worms its way into it. And if you want to discuss how the culmination works, that's as good of a metaphor as I think I can come up with. It fills in the cracks that you didn't know existed and pushes everything apart. In and his team on Remy, and you know this is, again, four weeks in the making, more than four weeks in the making, really, four weeks since the, the last matchup between these two that Remy won, and Remy beat Jordan, not just by manipulating referee Phoenix, but by taking the turnbuckle pad off, Using a low blow when Phoenix's back was turned, Remy LeVay manipulated an inexperienced referee in every way he could, played Phoenix like a fiddle, or possibly Phoenix was in on it the whole time. We're not sure. I don't know either way. I, if anything, I would say I give credit to Remy LeVay for understanding what, where the weak spot lay in that chain link and exploiting it right here. Same, same thing. He gave himself some time to recover and then sprung when no one was paying attention. So the culmination does best to prey on the weak. Alex Jordan's anything but weak, though. He's determined, he's strong willed, and he's, he'd fight the culmination single handedly if it meant getting his friend back. But I think that might be too far gone at this point. Keep in mind, last time we saw Phoenix, Jordan got in his face to question him about the refereeing job he did and all the calls he missed. Phoenix pushed Jordan right in his rear end and walked out. Clearly he didn't like the line of question. You can sense the tension has been just raising month after month with these guys. Well, part of it is nobody fights like friends. When you uh, when you feel betrayed by someone, it, it's a whole different thing than some stranger who's angry. Can't argue with that at all. It's Remy LeVay neutralizing Jordan now. Isolating uh, Jordan from, from the ropes, from a vertical base, negating that quickness. And Jordan breaks the grip. Oh, God. Remy comes back with a close line. I was going to say, I was a little worried there when uh, cover. Jordan took to the ropes. It looked like he was trying to reach down into the reserves already. You can 
see Jordan is uh, not seeing clearly, having trouble with uh, his vision, maybe his balance as well after the impact of that clothesline. But Jordan, uh, amateur MMA standout, professional wrestler for the past couple of years. Uh, he is a prodigy. He is a star on the rise, star in the making. He has a very uh, long and prosperous career ahead of him if he can survive this combination issue. And that's a big if because Remy LeFay is all about just dissecting his opponents. Just the phrase surviving the culmination is it, it, the odds are not good. We've seen what the culmination can do. One-on-one, uh, -on -one, as a group, it's it rarely ends well for anyone other than the culmination. Look at this. Stepping on that rib. Oh! Stomping down into those ribs while yanking on that arm. Remy takes great delight in torturous like offense on his opponents. You gotta wonder as Remy cover off the slam from two. Even though he is barred from the building because of what a distraction he's been proven to be. Is Sean Phoenix watching this matchup? Will he see it? And what does Sean Phoenix hope the result of this matchup is? I can't speak for Sean Phoenix, but you have to believe he's watching. This is, these are the, the, the Rams attacking each other over him. And I got to admit, the breadcrumb trail leads to Sean Phoenix siding with the culmination. It's been so many incidents that I'm not sure if it can be a coincidence at this point. And Remy, the backpack stunner. Oh, uh, Jordan counters that MMA background to a rear naked choke. Jordan was undefeated as an amateur in MMA. They called him can't touch because of his quickness. And man, Remy LeVay backing Jordan into the corner. But Jordan, tenaciously, back on top of Remy. I want to touch on your point about the bread trail trums leading to the culmination. My defense of Sean Phoenix is you rarely see the culmination do anything subtle. Normally, if there's if there's an infection, you know it's there. You're not guessing. Is this is this problem really here? Well, we know there's a, we know there's some sort of problem, and whether it's Remy acting on his own or acting on Phoenix's behalf, Jordan's been on a losing streak thanks to Remy Levey. Phoenix has picked up a couple of victories thanks to Levey. But the question is. Oh, we'll get back to Sean Phoenix in a minute. It looks like Remy LeVay is uh, going with the same plan he used a month ago, but he's got an experienced referee this time. Remy's getting desperate going for the turnbuckle path. And the ref right there noticing it. And this is not what Phoenix did a month ago. Phoenix was distracted. He was looking the other direction. But Alex Jordan sees it too. That's the other difference. I was going to say Jordan's to his feet already. Yeah, Jordan's seen this movie. I think Remy realizes he ran out of time. And Jordan explodes. And this kid is determined. He is all energy. He is dangerous. A knee strike right to the face. And then, oh. It's on his feet. Beautiful counter caught Remy high. Gonna roll him with a neck breaker. Watch out. Nicely done. Could this be how Alex Jordan avenges two? No. Oh. I say Alex Jordan could avenge the losing streak, the derailment of his entire career and his tag team in these past several months. He only had the weight over the left side of, of uh, Remy LeMay. He just, uh, LeMay just needed to pop his right side up there. A little stronger cover, that could have been three. Jordan kicking away at Remy LeMay. This is personal. Jordan is out for blood, out for retribution. And Jordan is a deceptively strong striker. Remy turns things around and hits the sling blade. And Jordan looks out. Could do no. it. No. My God. Remy pulling himself up to his feet. I'm just taken aback, and I'm not surprised, but I'm just still taken aback by the physicality we've seen from both these men and the personal stakes. And 
again, if I'm Sean Phoenix watching this, I gotta feel a little uncomfortable knowing the position I'm in, knowing that uh, you know there, there's a group that's it's core. Oh God, Jordan just fires off with a slap to Remy, and Jordan's hit a second win. And just strike after strike. Oh. oh! You can see Jordan's legs is weakened beneath him before he hit the ground. Two count only. You can tell that they knew he had, a, he had to get on top of that situation quick. That rolling elbow right into right to the temple. Without a doubt. Oh! Jordan able to slip free! Throws him onto his back, onto his head. Oh, look out! Stop! Jordan used the momentum on his side to trap Remy. The stomp connects and Alex Jordan with a victory. Here is her winner, Alex Jordan. So the proof here, potentially Jay Worth, is that one on one, the culmination isn't always the strongest force, isn't always the best option. Maybe Sean Pigs would be better off hanging out with the guy he's been with this entire time in the tag team. I mean, again, that's a decision that's up to Sean Phoenix. You know, you've got to win against the culmination. Now, Jordan would fight to the ends of this earth for his friend, for what he believes in. Jordan is a very loyal friend, without a doubt. He would die for Sean Phoenix if it meant doing what he felt was best for his buddy. And we're going to hear from the notorious one in just a second. Ready? No distractions, no Sean Phoenix, no Cogers. I beat you fair and square. His eyes putting some finality on Remy LeVay interfering with his career and his tag team. As Alex picks up a well deserved victory, but wait a second. I'll give it to you, Alex. Tonight, you want a battle. But just know that the results to this ongoing war are ongoing war. Well, that's already been determined. Let me ask you something, Alex. How many times have you talked to Sean since the last show? Huh? I'm here to tell you that Sean Phoenix is all but signed, bagged, and delivered to the culmination. And I'll prove it to you, 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 all of you, when we decide. Tonight you got lucky. Enjoy your wild life. So a moment of happiness for Alex Jordan, ruined by a promise from Remy LeVay that no matter what Alex Jordan does, Sean Phoenix has already decided to defect to the culmination side. Believe the culmination if you want, but it's the culmination's MO to ruin the happy moments.